Hey everybody, I have my very special mm -hmm. guest and co-host of our wellness discussion, Alyssa, again today. We've been getting such really great feedback yes. from everyone. We've been getting such really great feedback about that, so I wanted to come back and just say thank you to anyone who watches Laura's channel. Yes. Yes, thank you. And I got I've gotten messages from people I haven't talked mm -hmm. to in a while on Instagram and comments and everything. Yes. And I've actually had a boost in some sales of A Shop Girl's Tale, which is good because it ended up being a book about my mental health journey, as you may have seen in the last videos. Definitely. Yeah, that definitely is what got us talking more about our mental health, anxiety, depression. So it was really great. And you can watch the whole discussion on my channel and um, on Alyssa's channel, she has it too. Mm -hmm. With the introduction cut off, but other yeah. than that. Because I um, started taping hers after. We're trying out my selfie stick, so if the video is moving, that's why. Mm -hmm. um, Top of my head was cut off, so. So yeah, we're just, you know, we're so excited to be able to share our stories and let people know that, you know, you are important and you need to take care of yourself. For sure. Yeah, um, yeah, Alyssa said on the, um, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you can't, um, you can't pour from empty cup. Yeah. So if you don't take care of yourself, how are you going to ever help anyone else? Like, I've, I feel, I have for a long time been someone that people will come to with their problems, but I feel I've gotten better as I've learned to cope with my own anxiety. I have gotten better with helping them Definitely. you know it was more like I have to solve your problem but then it would be I have to take on your problem so it will be my problem yeah it's not yours that's not helping them no that's, that's taking not it away either of you yeah exactly yeah. if you know if something is going to if news is going to be negative that is going to upset you irrationally I can't hide the newspaper Hypothetically. Right. Exactly. I, You'd have to, you know. Mm -hmm. I have to cope with the fact that maybe someone will get upset if they hear bad news and tell them, you know, I'm there for them and try and rationalize. But at the end of the day, it's not about me hiding the newspaper. Exactly. So, so, you, so to speak. Right. Definitely. So you can't pour read the from newspaper. an empty cup. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. So, of course. Uh, yeah, we just wanted to make another video to thank everyone for all the amazing feedback, you know, and even our friend Al that we've mentioned, the Waffles Foundation, yes. he shared the video on his page and um, definitely want to do a longer video. If Alyssa is willing to join me again, or I'll do it myself, um, about how when you see someone struggling, you need to let someone know. You know, even if you think it'll upset them or upset their family, you have to let them of know. Course. So that's a big issue that we want to go dive into yes. in a longer video. But basically just to say, I would like to worry about someone more. And I have anxiety, so I do it anyway. But if you tell me something is maybe off my radar and it's going to make me worry about someone and I'm going to check in on them or I'm going to tell their family and I'm going to worry about the consequences, I'd rather that than... Then the next, you know, 20 years after their funeral thinking, wow, maybe, maybe I could have done something. Definitely. And so. we all know at the end of the day, if we did everything we could do, you know, then we don't have to worry about it. Exactly. So reach out to someone if you're struggling and if you see someone struggling, reach out mm -hmm. to someone. And thanks again for yeah. everyone who's watched, everyone who attended there was a nice group of 10 women there that just listened to us and let mm. us share our stories. So that was, it was amazing. And I think it was great for everyone involved. It was great for us yeah. to speak our truth. And then I think people really definitely responded. So uh, for sure. Yeah. It was not people looking bored. Exactly. Which is nice. Yeah. So have a good night, everyone. Yes. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy, Happy Galentine's Day. Yeah, be your own Valentine's. Yes. Our mama friends. was very indulgent with the gifts. She got us chocolates and self-help journals because journaling is important. Mm -hmm. And flowers. And flowers, yeah. Yes. So thank you, mama. Thank and you, mama. We're so blessed and we just hope that everyone else is taking care of yourself and have a great day. Have a great week.